freaky creatures, extraterrestrial nightmares, surrealistic carnal dreams. Euronymous Bosch's fantasy was not held back by the limitations of reality. With his innovative, alienating imagery, the most prominent Dutch painter from the Middle Ages managed to inspire patrons and admirers throughout Europe. Unlike any other, Euronymous Bosch's world-famous works reflect the 15th century lives full of temptation and sins. Euronymous Bosch is one of the most influential Dutch masters ever. His visions are timeless and limitless. That is what they already were 500 years ago. And that is what they still are today. Euronymous Bosch died in 1516. Now, almost 500 years later, the unequalled painter will be commemorated in great style with a groundbreaking multi-annual program full of social cultural, scientific and artistic activities. 2016 will become the ultimate Hieronymus Bosch year worldwide. A comprehensive cultural event of international repute from 2010 until long after 2016. For a colourful public of tourists and citizens, lovers and connoisseurs, admirers and scientists from all over Europe and beyond. But we started in 2010. In Euronymous Bosch's boundless city of birth, where he lived and worked, where he died and was buried. Sir Tochen Bosch. The Euronymous Bosch 500 program is set up as a triptych. The panels Vision of the Mind, Vision of the Fantasy and Vision of the City cover all art forms and areas of interest. Vision of the City wields Euronymous Bosch's inspiring view of society 500 years ago. Citizens of Sertochenbosch are invited to share their own visions and to develop new cultural initiatives for each other, such as the Bosch Dinner, where every year 500 citizens, farmers and country people are invited to dig in at a large communal meal at the central city square, Market Square, or the high-profile art event Bosch Parade. A fantastic cultural program where visitors from home and abroad can watch weird and wonderful creations by professional artists and enthusiastic amateurs float past on the water. Vision of the Fantasy feeds and satisfies the curiosity. It shows that Hieronymus Bosch's characteristic imagery is universal and intercultural. That fantasy has no limits. With international events such as the Bosch Young Talent Show, where young promising artists from Europe and the United States show their varied work. From paintings to video art, from sculptures to drawings, from collages to performances. A centuries-old tradition is restored with Bosch Requiem, an annually recurring concert at St. John's Cathedral. Every year, the focus is on the special symbiosis of art and film during Bosch Art Film, a four-day festival with extraordinary films and documentaries on and by visual artists. He just cranked him out. I don't think anybody even knows how much work George has made. I don't think any Vision of the Mind is all about existing information and new facts. The 44 paintings and drawings by Euronymous Bosch that have survived are dispersed throughout Europe and the United States. But the specific knowledge on his work is widespread as well. With Vision of the Mind, Euronymous Bosch 500 compiles the knowledge, gathers the science. For instance, by realizing a special university chair, Euronymous Bosch, at the Nijmegen Radboud University. And with the development of the Bosch Research and Conservation Project, a pioneering international knowledge network for research and restoration worldwide through which results can be compared and discovery shared. With the impressive grand finale in 2016, a magnificent, extraordinary exhibition of Euronymous Bosch's work at the Nuit Brabant Museum, a unique exhibition of world repute at which, for one time, paintings from the Bosch cities will return to their roots. The Master City, Setochenbosch.